What's up, peeps? Are you guys tired of the Warzone audio where things like airstrikes and the fire sale events just sound crazy loud in your ears that make you bleed, but things like footsteps just are significantly low and you cannot hear a dude even if he's running right behind you? Well, in today's video, I've got the best settings for you guys, and I've got a special one. If you guys are on PS5, I've got a secret setting that'll take you and give you the advantage over everybody else. Let's jump out into this video. And again, just so you guys know, this is gonna be focused on console. I won't be messing around with any of the PC settings because again, I am playing on PS5. So now, uh, one of the most important things is this one, right? Audio mix. And a lot of people tell you, use midnight mode, use boost high, use boost low, but this is something nobody out there tells you, right? This is the most important thing if you can take out anything out of this. So I'm gonna give you the top three ones in audio mix, but the most important thing is that you need to try it for yourself and do the play audio test on the top left corner because when you buy a headphone whether it is turtle beach or hyper x or whatever company you buy headsets companies come with different presets right for example hyper x may come with more boost maybe the turtle beach come with a little bit higher sounds right but every headset is different right the magnetic drivers and the way the headset is built is completely different and because we're not on pc we can't customize our headset as people on pc could right where you can like lower the boost here maybe make it a little bit higher here and there so what we get out of the box when you play on console that is what you get on your headset and that is something very very important to understand that's why a lot of people are like yeah use boost high that's the best one or use boost low it's the best one don't don't even use the other one so it's just very very important to know that each headphone is completely different so now i'm going to tell you the top three ones that you should test and then based on your testings this is the ones that are going to work for you. So number one is going to be boost low, obviously. And uh, this is going to make everything sound a lot lower, right? For me, for my Hyper X, it just sounds like super muffled. And I, I, it, this just really doesn't work that well for me. Again, everything just sounds super muffled, the footsteps. And, and sometimes it feels like I got a yawn, you know, what it feels like when you're in, a, in, in an airplane. All right. But again, maybe your, your, your headset comes in a high, it's boosted high. So boost low is good. I play on boost high, and for me, this is the one that works the best, all right? And again, boost high is gonna be the opposite of boost low, right? Is you're not gonna feel like everything is muffled, right? Sounds are gonna be a little bit higher. But when I had my Turtle Beach headsets, if I used boost high on my Turtle Beach, my ears would bleed. I mean, if I would've got flashbang, it would sound so loud. But again, not with these ones. Now, the other one I would recommend that is actually pretty good is if you like boost low, uh, I would go ahead and recommend Midnight Mode. Midnight Mode is pretty good. It's a little bit different. Than, it's kind of like boost low, but with a bunch of the sounds reduced. So Midnight Mode might be one to try. Again, just give it a try. Remember to hit the play audio test. I've been playing into the background uh, just so you guys can see what, uh, can, you know, hear the difference. Um, but besides this, is some important settings that I got for you guys. Master Volume, I had it at 100 before, but again go ahead and drop it down to 70 this will help it out a lot because again i think the events like the fire sale events and all that just sound so loud i mean it is the loudest thing in the world so go ahead and drop your your master volume down to 70 percent music volume obviously you want this at zero dialogue volume also you want this super low you want to hear a little bit because the, the you know the announcer will say like enemy uav or precision airstrike something like that so you want it a little bit but again you really don't care that much because again that's things distracting you and again one of the most important things is effect volume, which is, is where the uh, footsteps, the uh, plating, and everything like that. I just do want to mention that even though these are my best sound settings, the game sound is broken right now. Uh, I mean, sometimes I can hear players behind me, and I turn around, and I demolish them, and he's like, how did he know I was there? But then sometimes a dude could be running right behind me, full ass sprinting, and I don't hear it. You know, I, I, this game is completely broken with the sound. And it was when they brought Vanguard integration because they brought the Vanguard sound system into here, and it's completely different. But again, this is the best that we have. And also, a lot of some other people ask me, uh, why does my hit marker sound different? And the original one is this one, Modern Warfare. I mean, the one that comes with Warzone. But one of the cool ones that you could use is actually this one. Classic makes your hit marker sound a little bit different and a little bit higher, but in a good way. So give this uh, give this hit marker sound a try. Now, once we're done with this, this is the secret setting for the PS5 people. So um, you're gonna go ahead into the home section. You're gonna go all the way to the top right into settings. And then from settings, you are gonna go all the way to the bottom here where it says sound. Once you click on sound, you're gonna go one low where it says audio output. You're gonna go to the right and you're gonna go down. Um, obviously, if you had uh, 
TV speakers and this would be on, but because I have my headphones connected, this turns on. So right here where it says headphones, this is something pretty important. What you wanna do is uh, the enable 3D audio profile actually does change quite significantly. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on if you don't have it on, and then you're gonna go into adjust 3D audio profile. And I'm just gonna play it a little bit here uh, so you guys can hear, guess, you know, hear the difference. So all of these are supposed to be the same sound, but as you guys can tell, this is like an extra layer. This one, the type one higher is basically like boost high and the type five lower is basically like boost low. But this gives you like this gives you like an extra added uh, profile, right? So you could like me, I have boost high, but in here I have just I have type four, which is a little bit lower. So my boost high in Warzone isn't actually as high as somebody that wouldn't be playing on PlayStation 5. And that is something that I like. Maybe you want the boost low, but again, it sounds too muffled for you. So you can use boost low and then maybe go ahead and put type two, right? Which is not as high, but again, play around with this. And it's kind of like an extra level of boost high to boost low that really does change the way you hear. I mean, if you go to type five, the lowest one, it really does change significantly. And I mean, I guess if you guys didn't know as well, the best audio quality that you will get from a headset is if you connect it through USB-C to your console, or obviously if you have the adapter that directly plugs into your console and you have that mic adapter that also connects to that, that is the best way to get, right? Sometimes when you get the audio in and audio out, but if you grab your auxiliary cord and you connect that to your controller, that's gonna be the worst sounding one, just so you guys know, because again, not as much information passes through an auxiliary cord compared to a USB-C. So that's also something a little bit different. So that's why also people on PC, that connect their headphone through USB-C will have the advantage over somebody that plays on console and connects their auxiliary cord uh, to their controller. But ladies and gentlemen, that is everything I got for you guys. I'm just gonna put up here in the uh, screen right here if you guys wanna copy my settings one more time. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know which one works for you. What is the best audio mix for you? Peace out everybody, and I'll see you all in the next one.